The overall goal of this experiment and simulation is to investigate the siphon breaking phenomenon in order to improve the design and analysis of the siphon breaker of a research reactor. This episode can help answer key questions in a research reactor safety field, such as how to prevent loss of a coolant accident. The main advantage of this technique is that the siphon breaking phenomenon can be easily and accurately analyzed. The data for this experiment were collected at the two-phase flow lab of the Poang University of Science and Technology. This schematic provides an overview of its features and the equipment used to monitor it. There is an upper tank with a 57.6 cubic meter capacity. It includes an optional orifice assembly. The lower tank is 8.3 meters below the upper tank and has a capacity of 70 cubic meters. Any water deposited there can be reused via a return pump. The piping system has a 16-inch pipe. There are both lower and upper rupture points, referred to as loss of coolant accident or LOCA sites. The siphon breaker line ends in the upper tank 11.6 meters above the lower pipe rupture point. Two absolute pressure transducers and three differential pressure transducers monitor the system. There is also an ultrasonic flow meter. Four cameras record regions of the experiment through observation windows. The experiments investigated the effects of varying locus size, siphon breaker line size, siphon breaker types, and presence of the orifice. This apparatus at the Handong Global University is a 1 8 scale model of